What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nudge Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, when you sent it to me, I was not surprised. A bit of excitement certainly creeped up into me, but I was not surprised that this was going to happen. I'm certainly looking forward to as you, you you as well brian to the penguin show on hbo max is one of our highly anticipated shows is it coming out this year no i think it's coming out and i feel like it's come it's shooting this year i think it's coming out i want to say in 2024 but if it comes okay. out this year it'll be, around, it'll be around christmas i think if it comes out this year but i think it's supposed to be early 2024 okay so, Brian, you sent me that article that the Batman, Art Pat, is going to be making his appearance, making an appearance in this series, Brian. Does, did it surprise you? And, and are we just happy that it's confirmed? No, it didn't surprise me. Um, and I'm still super excited about it. And I, I, and I also have belief that you know the report is like he's he's in the show but he's not the lead we know he's not this is a penguin centric show but i'm just laughing because i feel like tv is tv always does this we want to take the world and we want to show you other parts of the world and try to get and try to kind of draft off the success of our main character and i don't know i mean matt reeves continues to just move up my my power rankings of sensible skilled filmmakers because you know what he said he said you know what a you know what a show in the batman world actually needs a little bit of batman <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that difficult I know. And so he doesn't need to be the main character. He shouldn't be the main character, but respect the audience. We know he's out there. So if you give it to us from the Penguin's perspective, give it to us in just little doses, the criminal's view of our hero. How awesome is that as a bridge between part one and part two of the Batman? His mere mention, Brian, is exciting. If they're gonna do a Penguin show, I'm fine seeing a Penguin-centric show. And if Batman doesn't show up, if I would, I would have been happy with just his battering or, or a guy getting into the hospital because he just got beat up. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Sure. I would have been fine with that. Like there's like the shark in Jaws. If you basically made him a presence but not a character. Yeah. Exactly. So, but I was hoping that Matt Reeves was going to. Um, had the Batman show up in this in in a, in a few things here and there because the Gotham City is his. Gotham Penguin is playing in his city, and the Batman is just not gonna sit back and let things just ride. And we not see something of it. Or see his presence being felt in this show. So kudos to him for confirming it and just getting us more excited for what we think is gonna be a fantastic show. You know what would also be so. We know because Colin Farrell has told us that the timeline of this show is literally like a puzzle piece. It picks up right after Oz. Yes. We see Oz at the end of the movie, and we know that the series ends and leads right into part two. What I am fascinated that this report does not cover is will we get a little Bruce Wayne development? Because Oz doesn't know. And if this is an Oz centric show, he can interact freely with Bruce Wayne, not knowing he's the Batman. So could we see Pattinson use this series to start to work a little bit on the persona we didn't get? In that would be movie? fantastic. That would be fantastic. That would just, that's just like the cherry on top um, to having that. Uh, and I'm hoping, Brian, that we also see uh, Jeffrey Wright's Gordon in this as well. I think there's a high probability. I so, think there's a yeah. Let's see. Let's see. There's an irony here to me, which is, you know, when, when I remember when when Disney Plus 
was ramping up and we kind of heard like, you know, Marvel was rolling out its shows and the discussion around how those shows were going to connect to the movies and the story arcs. And you know, we got so excited about that. And it's been uneven, as we know, like, you know, we've had highs, highs in Loki, and we've had lows, you know, in, in She-Hulk and, and so forth. But the irony to me will be that this, a DC property on its own over here, does the very thing that we dreamed of when Marvel said they were doing this on Disney Plus, which is to carry a true narrative from big screen to small screen and back to big screen where we are constantly crazy crazy they they're doing it correct they're doing it right and you're right we thought that the mcu and what they've done um or what they have been doing with disney plus was going to translate into films um, it just hasn't worked out. They've been their own separate things pretty much with some, you know, uh, references to this and that, but not a carry over to the Batman 2. Well, you know what it feels like, honestly, which I've always I've always wanted and dreamed of is it feels like reading comics visually. It feels yes. like, OK, issue one was the Batman. That was our that was our, you know, our first issue of the run. Issue two is the Penguin. It's a, it's a totally different feel. We change our perspective. Again, I think Batman's not going to be in this that much. I think I'd actually be a little concerned if he's in it a lot because yes. I don't want to take away Colin Correct. Farrell's shine at all. But then issue three becomes, or maybe it's three and four, becomes like part two, the movie. It's just that feeling of you want to pick up the next issue and see the next perspective and see that. It's just not something we've ever truly had, as good as the MCU got. Yeah. That con that true connectivity was never something they were going for, honestly, in phase one, two, and three. But this, this is looking and feeling like they might be able to pull it off. And that's yeah. super cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us know in the comment section below if you guys are as excited for this. And were you surprised at this uh, confirmation from Matt Reeves? And are, do you think we're going to see Jeffrey Wright? And who else do you think we might see in uh, this show? Let us know in the com com uh, comment section below. Uh, that, that is a good question. Who else will show up in this? Alfred. Uh, perhaps Harvey Dent? Oh, that would... So other new characters that are very canon to Batman is a great point. This will be clearly somebody... There's been a lot of people added to this cast without any confirmation of who they're playing. So somebody on that list is probably playing somebody we know. I would assume, Brian, that certainly he's in the second, well, he, he he's in the second year um, in this. He's still in the second year because this takes place right after that, correct? Yep. So uh, I'm, but that's in October. So who knows how far into the third year he'll get in? I don't know. Uh, but these other entities, these other individuals are around. If they're, if they're like a crane is there, freeze is there as pro perhaps not as the characters that we know them um, in the comic books and who they turn out to be, but certainly they're around. So who knows what sort of Easter eggs we're going to see, Brian. This is going to be, oh my God. <laughs> let us know in the comment section below if you guys are excited about this show the penguin batman is going to be in it hopefully we see some bruce wayne and some other stuff uh we'll see you next time on the nerd gem report where were the other drugs going